Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Today, we're going to take a look at the G.I. Joe Classified Series, David L. Bazooka Katzenbogen. But today, the one we're going to look at is the one in the red jersey. The one in the white jersey is the Attacker Force version. And we're going to get into a comparison later on. But here's what the front of the box looks like. You see... You got some cool artwork here. Cool artwork here. Bazooka shooting his bazooka. And here's a action figure render at the bottom. G.I. Joe at the bottom. He got his name at the bottom. David L. Bazooka has both the company. There's the artwork on one side of the box. It's the same as the artwork on the front. Same style. Here's the back of the box. He stands 6.39 inches tall. He looks dope as hell. He's got a red jersey, green Kevlar. He's got more bazooka rockets. He's got a backpack. Here he is in action again. Legal crap at the bottom. Here's his combat stats on the side. He is number 62. So let's go ahead and we'll crack this guy open, shall we? Tray shot. Foot locker. Okay, so now we have David L. Bazooka out of the box. First up, I think we'll take a look at his accessories. They're just dumped all out of here. But he doesn't have a whole lot, but he's got just enough. And the accessories are for this guy are the exact same as the accessories for the Tiger Force version. So he gets four individual rockets. Here is the first one. And the rockets are the exact same as the uh, first copy, except these are painted on the tips here. This one here is like yellow with like some caution design on it, like caution tape sort of. This one here actually has no paint, but the, but the paint on it is a lighter green. Than the other ones. And this one here's got a sick ass mouth on it on both sides. Looking pretty sweet. And this one here has no extra paint. And here's what the rockets look like on the old one. They are for a slight comparison. So you can see they're different colors. Some of these are painted on the uh, head part, and these are not. And here's Bazooka's backpack. And it is the exact same as the Tiger Force version. The color green is just a little bit different. It's a little bit lighter on this one. Same as the rockets. Got some very nice details on it. Once again, if they had painted these straps and buckles, it would probably be one hell of a cool looking backpack. And same as the other version. The rockets that can fit into the backpack. Just like that. And here is the Kevlar that came with the red shirt version. It is the exact same as the other one, just a repaint. As you can see, the other one is red in color. And this one is green. Both of them is the exact same sculpted piece. It looks pretty sweet. Got some nice wrinkle detail in there. Got the band around the top. Got the cool chin strap hanging down, looking like he don't give a damn. And the Kevlar fits on the figure's head very well. No problems there. And the backpack plugs in the back of the figure very well. It's very nice and sturdy. It is not going anywhere. And here's a look at the bazooka. And it is the exact same as the bazooka with the Tiger Force version. It's just the paint, the uh, color green that it's painted with is a little bit different once again. They have gone with an all new green color on this. Bazooka. This still has the same function here. You can roll that out, put a rocket in there, and he is ready for action. You can also fit a rocket down in the uh, front here. And these rockets are pretty damn sweet. Carry handle on top. And you can actually store the bazooka. You can store it on the back here if you don't want him holding it. If you want him holding a different weapon you have. So that's pretty sweet. Once again, you can store all his accessories on him. They both have double jointed knees. They've got the same abdomen torso swivel. 
And they both got peg holes on the bottom of their feet. Bazooka's head, he can rock around a little bit. He can look up just a tad. He can look down pretty decent. They've got that butterfly joint. Upper arm bicep swivel. Double jointed pinless elbows. <clears throat> They've got the drop down hips. He can, kick, he can kick forward a good amount. He can kick back a little bit. Don't forget that torso cut swivel. The belt's a free, a free floating piece. They got upper uh, thigh cut. They got boot cut. Double jointed pinned knees. And he has the ankle pivot ankle rocker. And next up here we have a few action figure comparisons. And here's the red shirt bazooka next to the white shirt tiger force bazooka. And here's the red shirt bazooka next to the white shirt survival outback action figure. And here is Bazooka next to the 6-inch scale Marvel Legends symbiote Spider-Man. And here is Bazooka next to the 6-inch scale Fortnite Battle Royale series Man Cake action figure. And here is Bazooka next to Marvel Legends Child Wave Build-A-Figure Emma Frost. Okay, so that'll be the end of this video. And some final thoughts. I think I do like the red shirt version better than the Tiger Force. But they're both the exact same figure, just repainted. So you can really just pick whichever one you want. Or hell, buy both like I have. Just Bazooka's kind of a cool character. He looks pretty sweet, so I, I ended up buying both. But yeah, my final thoughts are, I like the red shirt version better. But they are in fact the exact same figure. And I give this figure a, I give it a 8 out of 10. And I give the Tiger Force an 8 out of 10. It's really just going to be personal preference on what you, on what you like better. But, uh, yeah, let me know in the comments what you guys think. If you have these two guys, if you have one of them, which one you like better. Hopefully this video helped a few of you out. And, uh, yeah, this guy, he scales well with all your other action figure lines you probably collect. Unless you collect that McFarlane stuff. But uh, that'll be it. Thanks for watching. Like and subscribe. Watch some more videos. And stay tuned for that final clip of the video.